Well, Miles Gifford, you're in luck. I have a small motor here. This motor is so small. Let me give you a size comparison. There, I set a water bottle next to this motor. This is just a regular Nestle uh, Pure Life water bottle. It's not enlarged or anything. This motor is the same size motor you'd find on a 12-inch GE fan. It is a GE motor, in fact. 1920s motor. I bought it from a hardware store for 20 bucks. I'll prove to you it runs. This right here is a uh, early teens rotary switch from GE. Found it at my great grandfather's barn and I thought it looked great with this old motor. I have wooden swivel casters here. This looked pretty cool. The motor was mounted to this wooden base here but I put it on this. I just put a plaque there because I thought it looked cool. But here, let me fire it up for you. Now you see how fast it started up? That's because this motor has starter windings in it. It's a centrifugal start motor. They call these split phase motors. Some motors are capacitor start, but they work on the same principle or concept. I'm going to show you how this motor starts up so fast. I am going to open it up. I'm going to show you the guts of this motor. Now this motor is unique because it has brushes and the windings in this motor spin around. There is no stationary windings in this motor. So this motor is opposite of what you'd normally find. Other than that, it is exactly the same. This is not a universal or DC motor, it is only AC. It's a 1 30th of a horsepower motor at 1725 RPMs. It's a very small motor as you can see. I have no idea what it was meant to run, but I use it to run erector sets and um, some small scale steam accessories I have. It works quite well as you can see. It runs like new. No play in the bearings and very, very nice little motor. I like it a lot. Well, it's time to tear this motor apart and see the guts of the situation. Tune in for part two of the GE motor.